Okay, the other night, I believe, uh, maybe one of you computer people can help me, 714, was that Thursday? If you have a calendar on your phone, I think it was Thursday night. Spirit of God fell on me and I went into intercessory prayer, which is not unusual. Was it Thursday night? And he began to prophesy to me about certain people in this church. Now, I don't always do this, but when he instructs me to, I have, and, and I will continue to obey that. Satan comes in and perverts the gifts of God, gives them different names unless the devil uses them, calls it automatic writing. That's demonic. That's demonic spirits overtaking your body against your will, making you write something. Prophetic utterance written out is just that, God's spirit of pro prophecy coming on you and anointing you to write as fast as you can to keep up with what God's saying about what he wants documented in writing. And that's literally what happened. And first he spoke a word to me, and then he spoke another word, then he spoke another word, and each one of these I was writing down as fast as I can. So if they're a little jerky, if they go in and out of understanding, please bear with me. But as I call you up, I'm going to read the word of the Lord to you, that was spoken at exactly what time Thursday night straight from heaven and then you can have it and take it home and if you don't bear witness with it you know what you do put it up on your shelf and wait and see if it happens if it strikes you as absolutely not God listen wad it up throw it away I know in part I see in part I understand in part I'm not perfect but just as sure as Daryl was here and I read his to him and it hit him right in the heart. It was absolutely of God. I believe I've heard God for several of you in here today. Amen? Amen. So prepare your hearts to receive the utterance of the Lord. Uh, he's got a special blessing for you today. Amen? First one, as you're preparing your hearts, I'll start with me. At 12, 18 a.m., the Spirit of God speaking to Pastor T.C. He says, I spoke to you earlier this night, and he did. And he said something, quite frankly, that absolutely shocked me. It was hard for me to accept it and put my faith around it. I've had glimpses of it, but it's always just like the prophetic call. How many, how many years did I fight that? Even though I operated in it, I'm just completely uncomfortable with anybody saying you're a prophet. Until finally, I think it was through Tony and this church, you just got to come to grips with it and accept the office. Is that correct? Same thing with this word here. Very, very, be very attentive, please. I spoke to you earlier this night. Yes, you're hearing me right. No demon will be able to stand in your sight. It's not by your righteousness, not by your might. It's not because you've earned it, it's why you were born. You've known it in your soul when you didn't even know my name. And that's true. Before I was ever saved, when I was a kid, 10 years old, I'd look at my friends and say, God's created me for some great end time battle. Literally. Didn't know God from the house cat. But I was born with the knowledge that I was shaped of God and God was going to use me for a last day warrior. Amen. And I didn't even know his name. And that's absolutely true. You, you knew it in your soul when you didn't even know my name. You've known it in your heart even though, even when my presence, you did depart. It's why you were formed. It's to this time you have come. You're in the right place. Finish your race. You felt so alone. You felt so alone, like a child with no father. So many of my generals have gone before you. Your heart has longed for their presence and their maturity. And that's true. I say to you this day, you step up and reach for. I will require of you to fill that place for others. Wisdom, 
revelation and intercession will flow from me through you and many will brought, be brought to you more than before you're barren no more Amen. Amen. Anybody? Amen. Does that bear witness with anybody Amen. for pastor? God. Then the next was Sister Teresa. Seven fourteen, two thousand sixteen, at twelve thirty a.m. You've wearied your own heart with uncertainty and doubt. Doubt of your anointing. Because of that. In the spirit before the adversary, you've been fearful and trembled, fearing you are arrogant or presumptuous. Your heart has craved the anointing to heal. Don't say, I, the physician, have to heal myself. My son, in bloody affliction, released healing to many. You don't have to walk in perfection in any area for me to perfect one to use you perfectly stop right now shrinking in the spirit walk in the dignity of my anointing and never again let personalities move you does that bear witness with you Father, let it be done. Let it be established. Let her walk to the next level of her glory. Let her be bold in her anointing and her call. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Next one is Pastor Darlene. Now please, if these do not bear witness with you, it's not going to offend me. I just wrote down what I thought I heard from the Lord. Amen. God's talking to you 714 2016 at 1239 a.m. This is what he told me or said through me. You are mine and I am yours. There is no hand that can touch or harm you. If you allow me to be loving, protecting father that I want to be for you my princess. I have called you to fly in the spirit with the eagles, but you have not fully jumped by faith into your call. Out into the wind, free in the spirit, this is where the weak of faith will not hear it. Again, Asian and female, my full calling, you failed. He said because you're Asian and you're female, You've been afraid to walk into the fullness of his calling. Don't let your past or your culture hurts. The past hurts and the culture that has hurt you hold you fast. Dare to step out. Jump from the nest. I am the calling voice you hear late at night. Jump. 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 In your father's hand you will be held tight. Does that bear witness with you? Father, let it be established. Let the boldness come. Let her jump out in faith. Let her fulfill her call. In Jesus' name. Amen. The next one is Bree. Folks, you can judge these two. Does that bear witness with you? Spirit of God spoke to me. Speaking to you, 7-14-2016 at 12.48 a.m. Oh, how I love it when my little ones grow. Oh, how I love it. It's so, it's so. I'm pleased with you, daughter, and I smile at your name. You gave me your heart, and now you'll never be the same. The past you'll forget, no more dragging you down. If you'll say, Daddy, do it, I'll bring you up higher, above all the mess, above all the dirt, and all the frowns. They will not approve, but this word I will prove. 
the word of your Lord, he will fulfill it. It is time for you to say, I am a minister, a minister of worship. Learning to sing, to many my presence you'll bring. Many, so many will come into the spirit, into my presence. My glory they'll see and be healed at my tree. Sing without fear and I will draw near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, let it be established. Let it be done in Jesus' name. Does that bear witness with you? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brother Tony. This is the word of God to you, 7-14-2016 at 12.57 a.m. It is 12.57 and I am speaking from heaven. Your mind will not hear, but your heart has drawn near. You've climbed up and you've climbed higher and higher. You've bravely believed me and not once have I failed you. You know my voice better than you think. Speak out clearly. Let my people all drink. Drop all the fear in the spirit. Draw near. So many recoil, but by my spirit hell spoiled. Open your mouth. Speak by my spirit. Prophetically speak. And my wisdom they'll seek. The church has drawn back. Now there is lack. Lack of the spiritual power in this final hour. You've climbed well so far. Now what will you do? Will you go on with me? If so, miracles I'll do. Father, let it be established. By your grace, let him enter in and let it be done in Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Does that bear witness Amen. with you? Praise Amen. the Lord. And the last is Christina. Seven fourteen, two thousand sixteen, at one o six a.m. in the morning. I guess by this you know your pastor does pray for you. <laughs> my child, my child, my wonder, my joy. You're my daughter, and oh how I love your heart. I look and I look, but few thirst for my way. Thirst you have and thirst you will. Cause your purpose for my glory you must fulfill. Hallelujah. You'll go to places and realms with me you cannot see right now. Just know the devil's defeated. Never throw in the towel. My word you will study. My word will be heard, first inside and then out from you. Get ready, hold on, inside you will burn. Then you'll explode and my children will learn. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. let it be established. Let it be done. Amen. Amen. Does that bear witness with you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give the Lord a great big hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen.